Hi guys and gremlins, it's Fana, and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm unboxing a long-awaited package by Noria Toras's Moi Moi Moita blind boxes. She goes by Mary Doll Round on Instagram, and I have been following the creation of this Royal Bugs collection for some time. Although originally a pre-order, they are up for sale permanently now, which I will link down below. This collection consists of 12 designs combining a medieval European court and insects with a super rare queen bee design. Individually as a vinyl figure blind box, they are 10 euros or $11 USD, but you can buy the whole set for 110 euros, which is around $124. I pre-ordered three of these back in January, with the shipping expected to happen between February and March. But due to the global pandemic, they unfortunately were unable to leave Spain until the end of May. But I did receive them very quickly from across the pond, and now I can finally do an unboxing for you guys. This packaging is absolutely precious, it is just... It's so adorable, and like most blind boxes, the side showcases the available designs that you can possibly get. I definitely had my fingers crossed for some of my absolute faves. Something that is a little confusing is that the front of the box has a particular design with the design's name on it, so it looks like you're getting that specific one, but this is indeed just the packaging for the entire series. I received three stickers. Um, I think I received three, one to go with each blind box that I purchased, but they are clear stickers of some of Noria's one-of-a-kind resin motos, which you can find periodically for sale on her site. Her business card is extremely unique in its shape, I've never seen something like this before, and it has her social media handles as well as an image of what I assume is one of her ball-jointed dolls. Lastly, we have the official Moi Moi Mota business card. Time to break inside. Something a little frustrating was that even though the box had very nice flaps, they were glued down so I really had to tear into them, which made the box unable to close nicely afterwards. That's just something to think about for those who might want to keep the box in good shape to show in their collection. The first thing that I pulled out was this black flower stand, and on the bottom it said 1983, which is the brand that produced the figurines, and Molta. Next we have the official card, which although it is insanely cute, it actually spoiled which Molta I would be receiving. Which honestly is a little unfortunate, maybe that information should be inside the booklet. Like traditional blind boxes, the figurine came in a tearaway bag that was yellow with the 1983 logo on it. The first Mota was the Royal Beetle, who was absolutely adorable in her little cap and bloomers. I was really impressed by the quality of the paint job and the heaviness of the vinyl, and little details such as the body blushing and the heart highlights on the knees. There were absolutely no problems with getting her to stand up on the flower, and she's really solid and I really love this design. Next, I made sure to avoid the booklet when unboxing Moita number two, and I got the rosy maple moth. All of the Moitas have the same pose and face with different coloring for the face line art details. Her paint job is just as good, and I really love all the swirls and sparkles. I would have never picked a color palette like this, but it honestly works absolutely perfectly for this dog. Last but not least is Mota number three, who was the horn beetle and my favorite of these three. This one did have a tiny chip taken out of the paint on the back of one of the horns, but it's extremely minor and not a big deal at all. This Mota was also a different skin tone, a bit more olive than the other two, which I thought was nice to have variation like that. And here are all three of my Moi Moi Motas. I can't get over the details in this collection, and I would love, 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 love to see cosplayers of all of these designs all together. I can't wait to see what the next collection will be, 
and let me know which one was your favorite down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Check my Instagram, especially the story, for whips and other shenanigans. I hope you have a phenomenal day and keep being extraordinary. Bye! Thank you.